Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Bandi. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion in the UPSC Engineering Service Examination questions from the preliminary question paper in the topic Gas Power Cycles. This is lecture number 16 on the preliminary questions. The first question, an auto cycle has a compression ratio of 8. If 250 kilojoules of work is extracted from the cycle, the heat rejected by the cycle is, we have four options, read the four options. So, the correct option is option D, 192.69 kilojoules. We will see how in the next slide. So, the efficiency of the auto cycle. It is defined as eta equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power gamma minus 1, which is also equal to W, net to work done divided by the heat supply. Taking the second and third term, 1 minus 1 by a to the power 1.4 minus 1 equal to 250 divided by Qs. So, this is equal to 0 0.5647 equal to 250 divided by Qs. And the rearranging, calculating heat, Qs, heat supply equal to 250 divided by 0 0.5647 equal to 442.71. The work done from the first law of thermodynamics, net to work done equal to net to heat transfer, heat supplied minus heat rejected. The net to work done equal to 250, heat supplied we have calculated as 442.71 minus QR. So, rearranging and calculating the heat rejected equal to 442.71 minus 250 equal to 192.7 kilojoules. So, the answer is 192.7 kilojoules. Next question from 2014 question paper. An ideal spark ignition engine has a compression ratio of 9. What is its air standard efficiency if the ratio of specific heats is 1.5? There are four options given. You read the four options. The answer to the question, efficiency of auto cycle, it is defined as eta equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power gamma minus 1. Substituting, it is 1 minus 1 by 9 to the power 1.5 minus 1. So, gamma is given as 1.5. R is given as, compression ratio is given as 9. So, calculating it is 0 0.666, which is 66.6 percentage. The correct answer is option B, 67 percentage. The next question from 2016 question paper, a four-cylinder, four-stroke SI engine develops an output of 44 kilowatt. If the pumping work is 5 percentage of the indicated work and the mechanical loss is an addition of 7 percentage, then the power consumed in the pumping work is, there are four options given, 50 kilowatts, 25 kilowatts, 5 kilowatts and 2.5 kilowatts. So, the answer to the question, so brake power given as 44 kilowatts, BP equal to 44 kilowatts, total loss of power, it is given as 5 plus 7, 12 percentage, 0 0.12. So, substituting brake power equal to indicated power minus loss. So, loss equal to 0 0.12, 12 percentage of the indicated power, which is 0 0.88 IP, indicated power. So, indicated power equal to 44, the brake power is 44 divided by 0 0.88 equal to 50 kilowatts. So, the pumping work is a loss from the 50 kilowatts, 50 into 0 0.05 equal to 2.5 kilowatts. The answer is 2.5 kilowatts, option D. The next question, again from 2016 question paper. In an auto cycle, air is compressed from 2.2 liters to 0 0.26 liters from an initial pressure of 1.2 kilogram kilograms per centimeter square. The net to work output per cycle is 440 kilojoules. What is the mean effective pressure of the cycle? So, the, there are four options given. You read the four options. So, the mean effective pressure, the answer to the question, mean effective pressure, MEP equal to work done divided by the swept volume. So, this work done is given as 440 kilojoules divided by swept volume. So, 2.2 liters minus 0 0.26 liters. So, 2.2 minus 0 0.26. It is given in liters converting into meter cube multiplying by 10 power minus 3. So, solving it will be 226.8 in 10 power 3 kilo Pascal. So, the answer is 227 mega Pascal. So, that is the answer. Option A is the correct answer among the four values. 
The next question again from 2016 question paper. An ideal auto cycle works between minimum and maximum temperature of 300 Kelvin and 1800 Kelvin. What is the compression ratio of the cycle if the for maximum work output when gamma equal to 1.5 for the ideal gas? So, the four options of the answer 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the for the answer to the question for maximum work output the temperature T2 the T2 is the temperature at the end of the compression which is also equal to T, T4 which is the temperature at the end of the expansion. For maximum work it is square root of T1 and T3. So, T2 equal to T4 equal to square root of T1 T3 or T1 T3 to the power 0 0.5. So, calculating 1800 into 300 to the power 0 0.5 equal to 734.8 Kelvin. So, the compression ratio R equal to V1 by V2 which is T2 by T1 to the power 1 by gamma minus 1. So, substituting 734.8 divided by 300 to the power 1 by 1.5 minus 1 equal to 6. So, the correct option of the compression ratio is 6. The next question from 2014 question paper for the same compression ratio the efficiency of an standard auto cycle is more than efficiency of air standard diesel cycle is less than efficiency of an air standard diesel cycle equal to the efficiency of an air standard diesel cycle none of the above. So, the compression ratio is the same for the same compression ratio efficiency of air standard auto cycle is more than the efficiency of diesel cycle. So, we will see how. So, for the same compression ratio auto cycle is more efficient than the diesel cycle. So, look at the efficiency of auto cycle 1 minus 1 by r to the power gamma minus 1. The efficiency of diesel cycle 1 minus 1 by r to the power gamma minus 1 into r c to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into r c minus 1. So, r is the compression ratio, r c is the cutoff ratio. So, in the case of uh, diesel cycle, so when the R C value, R C is the cutoff ratio. So, when the R C value, it has got some value. So, when the R C value increases, the efficiency decreases. So, comparing for the same compression ratio, the efficiency of auto cycle is more efficient, more, more than the diesel cycle. And also one more way of defining the efficiency, work done by heat supplied. So, you look at the cycle 1, 2, 6, 5, 1. This is the auto cycle. So, in the PV diagram, 1, 2, 6, 5 and 1 it is the auto cycle whereas diesel cycle 1, 2, 7, 5, 1. So, the constant pressure heat addition in the diesel cycle constant volume heat addition in the case of auto cycle. Now, the work done in the case of uh, auto cycle is more than the diesel cycle. So, the efficiency is higher for auto cycle for the same compression ratio comparing with the diesel cycle. The next question from 2017 question paper for the maximum pressure in both air standard auto and diesel cycles is the same. The maximum pressure in both the air standard auto cycle diesel cycle is the same. The relation for compression ratio R and the efficiency eta between the two cycles. So, compression ratio of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle and the efficiency of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle. Compression ratio of diesel cycle is less than auto cycle and the efficiency of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle. Compression ratio of diesel is greater than auto cycle and for efficiency diesel cycle efficiency less than the auto cycle. Compression ratio of diesel, diesel cycle is less than the auto cycle and the efficiency of the diesel cycle is less than the auto cycle. So, we know the compression ratio of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle. So, there are four two options A and C. So, compression ratio of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle uh, and the compression ratio of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle. Other two options are deleted. So, because we know very well that compression ratio of diesel cycle is greater than compression ratio of auto cycle. So, the among the two answers A and C, we have to find out the correct answer. So, again compare here maximum pressure in both the air standard auto cycle diesel, diesel cycle are the same. Maximum pressure is the same. So, the in that case, the efficiency of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle. So, the correct option is compression ratio of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle and efficiency of diesel cycle is greater than auto cycle. So, we will see how here in the next slide. So, for maximum pressure in both the air standard auto cycle and diesel cycle is the same. 
the relation between compression ratio r and efficiency is the option. So, we know uh, compression ratio of diesel cycle is varying between 12 to 20, compression ratio of water cycle is varying between 6 to 9. So, the compression ratio is higher for diesel cycle and the coming here in this PV diagram. So, the pressure is the same. So, in the look at the PV diagram once again. So, the auto cycle is 1, 6, 4 and 5. So, constant volume heat addition 1, 6, 4 and 5 and for diesel cycle 1, 7, 4 and 5. So, in the PV diagram, the work done in the case of diesel cycle is more comparing with the auto cycle. So, the efficiency is higher for the diesel cycle. The next question, consider the following statements. The as standard efficiency of auto cycle is a function of properties of the working substance. So, the statement is correct. For the same compression ratio and same input, same input, the thermal efficiency of auto cycle is more than the diesel cycle. For the same compression ratio and the same input, thermal efficiency of auto cycle is more than the diesel cycle. That is also true. The thermal efficiency of diesel cycle increases with a decrease in cutoff ratio. So, that is also true. So, all the three statements are correct. So, yes and efficiency of auto cycle is function of properties of the working substance. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, yeah, efficiency of auto cycle, first statement, efficiency of auto cycle eta O equal to 1 minus 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1. R is the compression ratio, gamma is the adiabatic index which is Cp by Cv. So, Cp and Cv they are the properties of the gas. So, it is efficiency of auto cycle depends on the properties of the gas. The second statement for the same compression ratio auto cycle is more efficient than the diesel cycle. So, this is what the PV diagram already we have explained. So, the work done is, is given by the PV diagram area en, enclosed in the PV diagram. For auto cycle the area is 1 2 6 5 whereas for diesel cycle 1 2 7 5. So, the work done in the auto cycle is more in the case uh, more than the diesel cycle the efficiency is higher. For the same compression ratio. The third one, the thermal efficiency of diesel cycle increases with the decrease in cutoff ratio. So, this is the plot compression ratio in the x axis, efficiency of diesel cycle in the y axis, and for different RC cutoff ratio. So, when the cutoff ratio decreases, so 4, 3, 2, 1, when the cutoff ratio decreases, the efficiency will increase. So, that is the third option. So, all the three options are correct. So, the answer is 1, 2, 3. The next question from 2018 question paper, consider the following statement for air standard efficiency of diesel cycle. For the same compression ratio, efficiency decreases with increasing cutoff ratio. So, when the cutoff ratio increases, efficiency will decrease. So, the statement is true. For the same compression ratio and the same heat input, diesel cycle is more efficient than the auto cycle. So, this statement is wrong. So, for same compression ratio, same heat input, auto cycle is more efficient. So, it is given diesel cycle is more efficient. So, statement 2 is wrong. For constant maximum pressure and constant heat input, diesel cycle is more efficient than the auto cycle. So, this say, statement 3 is also true. So, the correct statements are 1 and 3. So, 2 is the wrong statement, 1 and 2, 1 and 3 are the correct statements. The option C is the correct answer. So, we will see. So, the efficient diesel cycle, it is given by the equation and the, when the cutoff ratio decreases, efficiency is increasing and for maximum pressure and the constant heat input, diesel cycle is more efficient than the auto cycle. So, the, in the PV diagram, you can look at the PV diagram. The diesel cycle is represented by 1745 and the auto cycle given by 1645. So, the area enclosed by the auto cycle is less than the diesel cycle. So, the diesel cycle is more efficient than the auto cycle. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the uh, subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the video lectures for your better preparation. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in the solution of engineering service exam question paper in the gas power cycles. Until then, Bye.